So hello everyone. Uh, welcome you all to this uh, new video. So in my previous video, we had uh, discussed with the module paper two solutions of module one and two of this subject. So I'm going to continue with the questions now without wasting much time. Again, those who have not watched those previous videos, go and watch it. It will be available in our channel. Uh, other videos related to some uh, important topics also of, of all the modules we have discussed of this subject. And uh, it's common for all the branches mostly. Okay, you can refer it. Uh, these questions you can refer it as very important ones. Okay, yeah. Let us continue with the questions now. From module 3, the first question is 5A. Discuss the design registration update uh, procedure of patent by using a flowchart. Okay, we are going to discuss the complete design registration procedure of a patent. Okay, the design registration is a process of protecting the visual appearance of a product, including its shape, configuration, pattern, and ornamentation. This procedure is typically governed by intellectual property laws that allows designers to secure exclusive rights over the aesthetic aspects of the product. Okay. The, uh, the procedure of a uh, complete design registration uh, uh, could be taking place in different different patterns. Okay, it would be having a set pattern, uh, configuration, shape, ornamentation, size, and everything in order to make its judgment based on the proper design made by the user. Uh, you know, a particular research methodology. We have a certain uh, step by step procedure in order to make its design procedure of a patent. Okay, how it is related with the patent? They have discussed it here. Steps to design uh, steps in the design registration process. First is search for existing designs. Okay, that is before filling or design registration, we should be searching for existing designs. That is, we should be having one essential where we are going to uh, uh, follow a design pattern with the proper prototype and idea of what we are going to execute. Okay, so this is basically the existing design search. Then we have prepare and file application. Uh, once the design is confirmed as original, okay, by uh, proper research at all. The applicant prepares and submits a design application to the relevant intellectual property office, such as the patent office or design office. Okay, so this is the preparation or file application after the searching of existing design and after proper research and all, we should be uh, making sure that the design is pure in nature and it should be adapted in different different conditions. Okay, that's one thing. Next is required documents. We have design representation, description, name and address of the applicant, classification, everything comes under this documents, documentary. Then next is examination of the application that is proper evaluation and examination of application you should be making in terms of industrial applicability. The office checks whether the design complies with the legal standards and is not identical or similar to an existing design. Okay. Next we have publication of the design. Once the application is examined and accepted, the design is published in the official gazette to make it available for the public view. Okay. So what, uh, what happens is the publication means whatever we have designed, right? Uh, we should be giving you uh, should be giving under public opinions by promoting it in different different fields where public would be uh, interacting with the people and it would be accepting whether this design is capable or not okay then this comes on the publication part next is registration and issuance issuance of a certificate okay uh, and based on the opinions of the people whether the design is proper improper whether valid or invalid one certificate needs to be given Okay, uh, that could be a, in the form of a review or a feedback where people would be certifying our design by giving different different opinions of their matter. Okay, next is enforcement of rights. Once registered by following all these procedures, the holder of the design rights can take legal action against any infringement in the design. Okay, so this comes under the enforcement part. So here they have uh, mentioned the complete flow chart. Okay, where start search for existing designs. Prepare file, prepare and file application. After that, submit the documents and payment of fee should be done in this uh, procedure. After this, the next step is examination of application. Is the design acceptable? Okay, if it is not acceptable, then the rejection would be taking place and it would be ending. And again, we should be starting from here. Okay, so this would be again uh, like this here. See, from end, be coming again to the start point here. If if it is acceptable, if it is uh, not acceptable, if it is acceptable, then the publication would be done. After that, wait for opposition period. That is uh, opposition. Uh, if uh, if we don't have any opposition of uh, uh, of what our design is, then we should be proceeding. If we have the opposition again, if opposition is yes, we should be resolving the opposition and then proceed. Okay. If we don't have any opposition, then come directly to this step here. Then we should be registration and certificate issuance enforcement. Then end. Okay. So this is a complete flow chart of this uh, design registration procedure. Okay. Go through it. Very important. Explanation of the complete flowchart is given here step by step of each steps. Whatever, whatever I have told you, right? The complete explanation. 
uh, related to all the points here they mentioned it here see publication part opposition period then uh, registration enforcement and all go through it okay just read it once so you be understanding next question 5b discuss the history of intellectual property rights in india this is very important question so history complete history based on the pre independence period okay uh, all the complete history is mentioned here okay just i am not going to explain this history part so this is just what to say a uh, complete theory about the uh, intellectual property rights in india based on different different instances and different different years okay in different different centuries and all they have mentioned it here uh, in the pre independence period and the post independence period how this uh, intellectual property rights has developed in india everything they have mentioned and who and all were opposing this uh, uh, ipr rights and uh, what uh, role did the patents play in the in this period also they have mentioned it here cleanly okay just read it okay i'm not explaining this okay just read it in brief they have mentioned it. next question 6a what strategies are involved in the commercialization of a patent okay so strategies involved in the commercialization of a patent that is uh, commercializing a patent involves uh, turning an invention or innovation into a marketable product or service that generates revenue it requires strategic planning to ensure that the patent is effectively used to maximize its value here are the key strategies involved in patent commercialization okay first strategy is licensing okay complete licensing part uh, again the licensing is a popular strategy where the patent holder allows another party to use manufacture or sell the patented product okay for that we need to be having a proper license where you could be selling our patents to others okay this comes under licensing licensing also we have two types one is exclusive licensing and non exclusive licensing exclusive means uh, the license gets the exclusive right to use the patent non exclusive means multiple licenses would be there that, that uh, can be used by a patent simultaneously okay next we have selling the patent patent assignment involves selling the patent uh, to the another party in the in this case the patent holder transfers all rights ownership control of the patent to the buyer can then exploit it as they wish okay here we have, we have uh, mentioned some of the pros and cons also for of selling the patent the uh, uh, written it that is uh, uh, advantages is immediate financial return we would be getting uh, for any patent which we sold no further responsibilities or involvement would be uh, 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 the, the patent holder would be having any sort of responsibilities after selling any patent okay they would be free of everything and some of the cons they have mentioned it here disadvantages read it down next is creating a startup or joint venture is very important then uh, manufacturing and selling the product strategic partnerships and alliances uh, using the patent for market differentiation and uh, many more points are there just uh, read it one by one okay next question 6b what are utility models and how do they differ from patents okay so this uh, utility models uh, definition and key differences from patents let us discuss a utility model is often referred as a petty patent or innovation patent in some countries it is designed to protect technical inventions or improvement which is required in a particular model uh, which may not contain any high standards required for a full patent okay so some of the inventions made technically uh, for not uh, not for high high plants or uh, researches but for the uh, what to say medium proof plant and uh, uh, proper research patents uh, for those things and all these utility models uh, is referred to as a petty patent which requires high standards for a required for a full patent patent okay so these inventions typically have a new and useful aspect but may not be as ground making as those uh, that would qualify for a traditional patent okay so these are utility models it's a scope duration requirements faster registration everything they have mentioned it okay along with some of the key differences here just go through it okay uh, uh, all these points are very important ones please go through it okay whatever i have highlighted in yellow all of them are very important in order to make you understand this answer i have written it okay so please go through it read it once so this uh, pdf would be available in the description okay those who cannot access the description those who have already subscribed it please listen to it what you should be doing is i am not repeating again and again just uh, copy that link paste it to the google chrome browser then try to open it by keeping two tabs open one is of youtube our in home page and another is that uh, uh, that link uh, uh, page okay press that link it would be coming to the home pa home page of our channel video academy okay then uh, go to the recent app then go to the uh, link which you have pressed then uh, at that page the processing would be taking place and the link would be unlocked okay press that and uh, access the pdf okay so i am not repeating again and again please go through it
yeah so let us discuss with the, some of the solutions of module 4 as well in this video only okay 7a explain the process of copyright registration and what are the benefits for the copyright holders okay the complete procedure of a copyright registration they have mentioned it here the process of copyright registration uh, the copyright registration is the process through which the creator of an original work formally registers it with the relevant government authority granting them legal recognition and protection of their work the process varies by country but generally follows a similar structure below is the step by step process for copyright registration okay so in order to register for any copyright uh, these are the following steps here first is eligibility of the copyright okay before applying for any copyright registration the work must meet the following criteria that is it should be the work must be original and created by the author in order to apply for a copyright okay whatever the work which is done by you right that should be original it should not be copied by others you yourself should be not copying by others in order to apply for any copyright okay whatever content you make it should be original then only you can apply for any copyright registration next is application form submission the copyright registration process typically involves submitting an application form to the relevant copyright office this application includes the name of the author and the title of the work next we have submission of copy of the work then payment of fees examination of application all of them with the explanation i have mentioned it here go through it issuance of copyright certificate record keeping and public access okay along with some of the benefits i have mentioned here benefits is not required go through all of them in a detailed manner okay so this is the flow chart of uh, uh, steps involved Get to the next question now. 7b. Explain by using flowchart the steps involved in trademark registration. Okay. This is very important one. Steps involved in a trademark registration. So, this is the brief flowchart of that. First, we should be starting. Then, trademark search. Searching for trademark. Okay. That involves the uh, proper uh, uh, logo finding or everything. Okay. Then, we have preparing the application on what we have searched. Then after preparing the application by uh, filling the uh, required details like name, uh, place, uh, details, address and all. Okay. Like that after the uh, preparing the application should be filing that application in order to make it eligible for a trademark. Okay. Next is examination of that application proper. Whatever we have entered the, the details in the application that should be properly evaluated and examined without any errors. Because if we find any error then again it should be starting from the first step. Okay. Because the ap application should be prepared in such a way that uh, when we are evaluating the application should be getting passed okay next is issuance of examination report based on the whatever applications we have given examination report issuance that should be done that is publication in the trademark journal publication means promoting promoting of whatever report we have done it should be promoting through the journal uh, journal trademarks then opposition if for uh, in, in, during the publication process if we have any opposition then uh, opposition would be filed resolve or defend return to the step 6 if resolved okay if any oppositions are there if no opposition then acceptance would be there then registration uh, then the application would be accepted after all these things and the registration will be done and then the complete steps involved in the trademark registration okay with the flow chart and the explanation is given here step by step go through next question 8a explain the criteria that an original work must meet to qualify to quality for copyright protection Okay, to qualify, qualify, okay. Criteria for an original work to qualify for copyright protection, as mentioned here, uh, for a work to be eligible for copyright protection, it must meet some certain criteria. Copyright law exists to protect the original works of authorship, but it is important to note that all works automatically qualify for the protection, okay. Uh, below are some of the key criteria that we should be following. That is, one is originality of whatever uh, we have uh, presented, that should be original. Whether, whether it be documents, applications, everything should be original. The definition, requirement, and example with the one uh, simple example they mentioned it. Next is fixed in a tangible medium of expression. Then we have minimal creativity. Just go through it. Uh, work of authorship. This is very, very important step. Non-obvious. That is no more, uh, no mere facts or ideas should be mentioned. Authorship. Authorship of whatever we have uh, uh, applied for copyright. The authorship should be very, very uh, 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 what to say, uh, swift and should be having the proper license for it. Okay, not in the public domain, it should not be spread in the public domain, it should be done privately. Okay, then the conclusion part based on all the points. Go through it. Next, uh, next question 8b 
what are the roles and functions of the copyright board and the copyright society in administering copyright laws and regulations okay the roles and functions of the copyright board and copyright society in administering copyright laws and regulations are okay copyright board let us discuss of copyright board the copyright board is a quasi judicial body that helps resolve disputes related to copyright issues it functions as an important part of the legal system to ensure that copyright law is implemented effective its roles and functions let us see okay that is dispute resolution appeals and reviews licensing and royalty issues uh, regulation of copyright society then we have uh, granting permission for use of works regulation of agreements then in copyright society these are for copyright uh, uh, roles and uh, for copyright board okay roles and functions for copyright society we have a certain set of roles and functions before that let us see what is a copyright society a copyright society is an organization established to manage the collective rights of the copyright holders okay these societies are basically uh, the intermediates or the uh, uh, basically the intermediates between the creators and the users where the people would be getting full access of what the uh, what is happening between the creators and the users okay just in it is lying in the media where uh, the people would be getting news of what we are happening for example if we use youtube right we are not uh, if we are a neutral person we are not even the creator or the user okay like that so this comes under copyright society point the roles and functions of copyright society are collection of royalties licensing of works protection and enforcement of rights representing authors and creators uh, mediation and dispute resolution resolution education and awareness international representation and so on okay yeah so that's all guys i have discussed with module 3 and module 4 uh, model paper solutions in this video i know that this video has become longer so yeah this pdf would be available in the description uh, those are watching till now uh, thank you for watching till now like this video share this channel to a huge number all the best for the exams thank you